Welcome to a Dragonfall game. We're gonna play a couple minutes of Soma. This is a fantastic game. I'm gonna do a new game and I'm gonna do what's called safe mode. Monsters just look you can't kill you. You don't need to worry about stealth as you play. I'm only gonna play for a minute, you know, like twenty minutes and you don't need to uh you know, have me creep around and get smashed by monsters. There's not a lot, but they're creepy enough. But this is a very immersive story game. Came out in like 2015, 2016. I was late to the party, as it were. Never bad to start with a PKD. I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Yeah, Beep. I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. Charge your phone, dude. My name dude. is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours, then. Okay, see you soon. This little room is kind of like a little tutorial area where you can go and listen to your voicemail. Hey, Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, Miss you mean it. End of I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I Maybe sent it's an me. I email to remind him, didn't I? You can flip these things around. I mean, that's going to be more important when we start the actual game. Cute. Oh no, it's a draft. Oh, I forgot to hit send. <laughs> Better late than never. Where did I put the tracer fluid? There's some sad stuff over here. Get well soon, love mom. With a heart. It's adorable. Yep, downtown accident kills young woman. That's the lady from the dream. You want to pause that, otherwise we're moving on. Okay. I forget where the tracer fluid is. I mean, there's stuff you can learn in here. You work in like a comic book store. If I remember correctly, he leaves the tracer. Uh, you the tracer fluid. Where are you? I think he leaves it in a pretty dumb spot. Like, is it in the kitchen over here? There it is. Yeah, this is like your plates, dude. Yum, yum, yum. It feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. All right, so here's my pants and clothes, right? But then I can just walk to the door. I don't know if I'm naked. Got a good excuse. Got some brain damage if someone does accost me for being naked walking down streets of Toronto. Nobody's making eye contact with me, so I'm probably naked. That's the horror of this game. It's just that dream. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you 
know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time, work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying <laughs> thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Yep, it's all a big setup. That's a kind of topical right now. Won't find me in a voting boot. All right, so this is like the little beginning intro thing. I mean, office is very tutorial esque. We're gonna have some. We're gonna have some horror in a moment. And I'm rushing through things a little bit. Like there's. Hello, Doctor Munchie. Boop. Where is everyone? Just leaving their busy. leaving their computer up. We're locked out. Okay, and then can't listen to their messages, unfortunately. So it's two five zero one right there. You see that? I had a couple. I mean, you know, that's not the best handwriting. It's not bad. It's not bad, but I think I, and also, I didn't realize, first time I played this game, we actually have to remember those, which for, you know, some people, like myself, I, uh, I work with numbers for a living, and I really hate doing fun with numbers, even like, I, it's gotten to the point where it's just like, I don't want to calculate the tip, like, I'm pulling it up with my phone. Oh, hi. Boring, I know. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. All right. I've never played where I didn't take the tracer fluid. I kind of want to try that now. Science. Doing some science. All right. Let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada. David it's Munchie, like you're getting into a Lyft or an Uber. 1988, July 16. Right. Flat neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Say cheese. Now you are the scan. It's a little bit kind of like a... It's, it ends up being a pretty clever setup for the rest of the game. But, um... Hello? Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? Oh, yes. Yes, it did. This isn't funny. <gasps> I, I'm not supposed to put myself in. The game is primarily in focus. Yeah, it comes back in focus. So you got a little thing here you can't interact with, but obviously we're coming back here. I'm going to grab this box and goofily throw it at the window <gasps> can't get through there 
There's a lot of like manual controls and stuff. Oh, you're twisting and turning things. It's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock out the comm center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we leave enough power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. This is one of those great games where... How did I do that? This cold open, then you know, in another playthrough, it means a, a lot more than it does right now. It, it's got like rooms that like are just atmospheric. Like you come in here and you're like, what is all this? You can open up all this and like throw combs around. And, oh, well, let me throw this block of tea. And like, yeah, like th there's there are items that you know we're going to be interacting with and stuff like that and very soon, but. Just a nice level of immersion, in my opinion. And they blocked things off, like it says, but we unfortunately need to undo all of their handiwork. And then there's some, some robots. Oh, man, this one. Ah, okay. And this one I can touch. Reach out and touch someone. <laughs> Rude. You want some structure, Joe? Yeah, you do. So weird. Doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna shut you down now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell, so I'm gonna shut you down. <gasps> Where'd the other robot go? Definitely not our first interaction with a monster. And then, of course, to be very helpful, that bastard just ripped through here. I'd thank him if he wasn't terrifying. This is not a game where you just go and give the monsters hugs. And thank them for getting you through things. Can't interact with anything here. Oh, oh. I can't look. So you can hide here. But I think he busts out of that room in a different angle. And then you go exactly where you should not go. I would not do this. This is the last place I would go. Dude's got no head. Burr, burr. Yeah, and I like a lot of the technology. It's like, this one's called like a Haimatsu Omni Tool. It's, um, it's like a real, like, Weyland Yutani vibe, too, from, you know, Alien and all that stuff. There's a lot of that. Like, a lot of this, the, the technology in this is, like, futuristic, but, like, utilitarian in that same way. I mean, it's not DOS, but um, I think you, you, you catch my drift. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. All right, let me upgrade the firmware of my Omni Tool chip installer. Service console up to three, including pilot seat activated. Fantastic. So, system status: thirteen emergency systems remaining. This is obviously junk. Yeah, but it does say. David Munchi Toronto. And so it's, um. Yeah, I mean, it's not a. Unlocked toolbox. 
And there's like an orientation where the guy's like. I know they told you that field technicians <laughs> would get full access throughout Pesos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen. Don't get me wrong, I don't wanna get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running. But there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't wanna hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knock out the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. <laughs> Fantastic. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors. Basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omni tool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What? Just find a way. Oh yeah, and then he just tells you some more stuff you're not supposed to do. We're gonna do all of it. Alright. Let me uh, upload my new card here. No, I don't know what a more cortex is yet, but here we go. And this is not a game where you just update more tools over and over. I promise. I mean, I guess it kind of is, but... Alright. Now we can go do stuff. So a lot of the stuff before that was um, didn't let us do anything. Yeah, like this is nothing, but... Sorry, I'm hitting the wrong button. You can at least get, like, storyline stuff out of that now. Most importantly, we can, um... Now, get past to the next spot. I sincerely hope I did everything I needed to do with that uh, little Omni tool. Yeah, there's a little bit of that going on over here. I think we're done in here. Yeah. Just need to go towards the screaming monster now. There's a little bit of that going on. And you can run. Can't remember how to run. See, so yeah, he's down here with us now. Alright, Helper Jane, get us out of here. Maybe he's not down here with us yet. So this is part of the cold open here where you're like, what? I am underwater? Let this play through. There wasn't much left of that one. But, um... Yeah. Just, there's just good ambient stuff here. This person, whoever this person was, just kind of spent their last days drawing weird shark monsters. So. And this is not... I mean, there's, there's not a lot of Bioshock aspects in this game. I know that probably gives off that vibe, but it's... Uh, it's just underwater. It's mostly... Uh, I mean, you do go outside, too. But Bioshock didn't do much of that, so I don't know what I'm talking about at the moment. Weird. Hello, Orifice. Ah! What was that? Fortunately, that's the only way to get through the doors. Oop, forgot.
Oh, alright, robot assembly. That seems like a bad idea to anyone else. And there's gonna be some duct walking and animals screaming and uh, other smashing around as one as one does. When you get close to these guys, your heartbeat goes up and um, your vision goes blurry, which doesn't elicit any kind of like uh, automatic response from from me at all. It's not just terrifying. Right, I think this is where we're supposed to go. And uh, my first playthrough on this, I just got I just got turned around in those ducks for about seven minutes. So I'm glad I'm glad we're not uh, doing that again. Hello. Can you hear me? This isn't sad at all. Um, sorry. I need the power. I need it. Why? I was okay. I was happy. Yep, not heart wrenching whatsoever. Alright. Got a little. Oop. Okay, I need to do this. This is a kind of puzzle. Hit it green, okay, and then hit it again. Oh, it's green again. Well done. Yep. Means nothing to you at this point in the game. Alright, I wonder if that's going to attract any monsters at all. What do you think? Alright, can't remember. Can we get through? No. Oh, what is... What, what's happening? Hello? Is there anyone there? Hey, hey, can you hear me? I hear you. Hey. Uh, Absalon, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you... Oh, signal... Damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, uh, uh someplace dealing with electrical power. I, I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh... Yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. She's like, so annoyed with you. I love it. And whatever that did... Open the door! I think there's just a little readout here we can't do anything with. So, I mean, to give you a little, like, we got hole breaches, we've got uh, perforations, we've got leakage, we've got all the wonderful things a science fiction underwater thing wants. Thing, as in, you have no idea what's going on yet. So, can't get through that one. This part here, it's a little on rails, but I'm okay with that. It's the beginning of the game. Oh no! Got that heartbeat going. So, thankfully, we don't have to worry about this dick bag. Because doing all this stuff while like evading him is just it's just no bueno. I mean he's a big pustule with legs. So that right there, I just I don't know why I wanted to show you that. 
But that would have knocked us out or ended our game. I don't want that. And you can hide from him, like, all over the place. Like, behind this little thing over here hides from him. If you're a lunatic, you can go into this room. I don't think there's any reason to. Yeah, this is just a room to die in. Just a room to die in. So basically what you have to do is you have to do, break, break that thing, which opens up a... Makes a ton of noise. And then he comes after you. And then you gotta do this while he's chasing after you. But he's apparently already sated with fake killing us. But that's just a taste for how crazy things are gonna get. Yep. This guy out there talking about how he blacked out. Lockdown process. Check terminal for details. And then we need a code. Well, I think there's like five minutes left here before we move on to the, the next thought. Maybe ten. But I will talk to this little buddy over here. This guy's talking about the pilot seat, which is where we woke up. Not a spoiler. <laughs> no, actually. Well, thanks for being so helpful. It's not like I'm knocked out on the floor or anything. Are you human? Shit. Did, did my body give it away? I try hard saying the mystery. <laughs> yeah, I'm human. Are you? Uh, my name is Simon. Do you know anything about this place? Oh, you knew. That makes us slightly less weird. Look, I'm obviously hurt. If you see anyone else around, just tell them where I am. Oh, you're new is okay. That's why you can't tell that you're human. That's, that's right. Alright, so there's two places you can get a badge code. And that's, a, this, that's just a place to, to hide, to not die. Right over here. But that's there's Carl. God, he's dead. He's dead. And then I think you can kind of open things up a little bit up here. There's a note that's helpful. Theta, turn around. We sealed Upsilon to keep it working. Don't F it up. And there's a badge number. Amy Azaro, 0735. We'll see Amy in a little bit. So I can go and unlock. You can also grab his badge. 0722. Unfortunately, you can't drill things. Most things are for throwing. It's like real life. So yeah, there's going to be some like so these these little things um, they can they heal you basically, but they also open up special rooms and stuff. But um, I feel like they make you creepier as the game goes by. Oh seven. Five. I'm Amy. Got some 20 to 25 years of production. This is a, supposed to be a, a long type thing. So we want the comm center. So we need to fix that. So we need to turn on flow control and storage. Why not? And then I need to come back here. Yeah, this talks about the black box neuroimaging platine. But I can't, like, inject this into my brain or anything yet. Yet! That's how you run. 
it's a little uncomfortable to probably watch this though. All right, so I open up this room, and uh, that's just the room that they warned me not to open. So it's gonna it's gonna work out great for everyone involved. We strained the system. If you pull that lever, there's no turning back. Make sure you want it bad enough. Oh, I want it. Oh yeah. This part, when you're playing normal mode, sucks. Because you got to go put in Amy's code again, and then open up the comm center, while this dude is just, just smashing everything around you. Yep. Leave me alone, dude. And they're kind of random. Like, sometimes they're, like, super impossible to get rid of. Sometimes they just, um, they just, just kind of, you know, screw off, walk in the other room. I mean, he's not, he's not 100%. He's not feeling very good. Welcome to the comm center, everyone, in our little luxurious tour. So yeah, these things do heal you, but they kind of corrupt you too. And I don't think it really matters. I think that's going to happen no matter what. Alright. We gotta, we gotta do some... So she's in... Uh, yeah, I mean, they're all, they've all got some, like, story stuff. Um, like, I'll do... Things aren't well. Come on. I'm not going to do them all. Yeah. Nope. There's not. There's not something better there. I think she's in Omnicron. Please forgive me if she's not. And that dude's not getting in here. Nope. It's not... It's not helpful. Mm -hmm. I'm dumb and I've forgotten. Because you kind of visit almost all of these throughout the game. And some of them are pretty small. There hey, she is. Are you there? I found the dome ceiling. Oh, that's better. Simon, was it? Uh, Jared, Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm what a meet cute. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? Where do you even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Epsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Pezos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Have you seen any people? Like, staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. This is also strange. You're telling yeah, me... Yeah, no. No, right. No, no shit, lady. What was that? No! What's going on? I think this place is about to collapse. What do I do? Simon, come to Lambda. Uh, how do I get there? There are shuttle trains connecting all the sites. Find one and come here. I'll wait for you. So wait for us. Aww. Shit. We well, always wanted someone to say that to me. What should I? Oh, fuck. So many curse words, guys. Sorry, I'm going to have to put a warning on this video. Because this probably curses more than I do. That's a joke. Anyway, we're the Dragonfall Charity Foundation. Um, so we've been doing some video game stuff during this winter lockdown. 
kind of just showing off some stuff we think is cool. I think this game is fantastic. Maybe we'll come back to some more of it. I mean, how is this possible? Let him talk. This is insane. Happens to me all the time. All right. Well, I think this is a good place to pick up later. I can remember how to get out of this damn place. But, um, yeah, you can just jump. I can't remember. But, yes, so we, we've been doing some stuff during lockdown, just kind of showcasing some games we like. And um, I think this one is really atmospheric and really fun. Kind of just fun to, it's a little bit of a walking simulator, too, with some puzzles. So it's like, hmm, why not walk? Walk around, get, get scared out, get scared, get some science fiction, just mainline that shit. But yeah, please check out the foundation and we will talk to you soon.